How's it going, YouTube land? Now, where do you go after a team's morpher and main accessory? Well, you go the place where every team must go. A giant robot. So here we have the docks. Dino Charge Megazord. It's so big, it cannot even fit in frame. I must go back here. So, here's the box. Very nice picture of the three dinosaurs making up the Megazord. Love that picture. Same picture of uh, Dino Charge Red here. Dino Charge Megazord. Warnings and Bandai and three Zords combined. And Zord Builder! Whoa, that's too high. Zord Builder. Dino Charge. The Zord, obviously. The uh, battery. The charger. Of course, usual stuff on the side. Stuff on the back. Really love that picture. From Kill Uger. And, of course, what each one does here. And then you can combine it currently with this other stuff that I have some of and of course the collect them all and the website plug so let's get it open and so here we have the Dino Charge Megazord open up out of its packaging and its separate components first off right out of the box you do have to reattach these feet they come separate in the packaging they just peg on right there and you have to reattach the tail. It slides in. But uh, here are your main zords. You got your Tyrannosaurus Rex, your Stegosaurus, and your Triceratops. I'm going to go in that order. So here is... Move up the camera a bit. Here is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, known in Japan as Gabutira. Which is an amusing play on the words Gabu, which apparently is Japanese to bite, or something along those lines. And Tira, the first part of Tyrannosaurus. So, obviously he's a biting Tyrannosaurus. Now, give you a good side shot. He is far less painted than the Japanese one, which is unfortunate. There's uh, no paint here, and no paint on this part. And uh, no paint on there. This part is black on the Japanese version, but oh well. I can deal with that, and I can paint the silver in myself. The one big thing that this guy does not have is the electronic feature. Which I understand, but still kind of wish he did. Now, Gabutira in Japan could read all the batteries or the Judenshi in there. There was a full Judenshi reader in his mouth. Speaking of Judenshi, or at least the American, this set comes with one. A clear variant of the Tyrannosaurus Rex Judenshi. Beat Dino Charger, I'm sorry. I have to be American on this one. The Beast God, I'm going to keep... The Dino Charger. See, it's uh, clear plastic. Exact same pin. So, play the exact same noise in the morpher. I'm not going to show that. It's unfortunate that he doesn't come with the ones for blue and pink. Because the Japanese version came with the Judenshi for blue... Stegochi and pink Dorikera. But we're talking about Tyrannosaurus. Nice, nice big old feeties. Some gigantic T Rex claws. With some nice silver paint on them. You got your unfortunate warts here, which are Zord Builder ports. It is, there is a lot of nice molding in there, though. 
for where the paint goes and right here on his ass his tail is nice yellow the one thing I say though is they actually handled the tail really well the American version the Japanese one this was a giant piece that just stuck out of places and was very unfortunate from what I've seen this one is a lot smaller but that does mean the helmet is hidden somewhere else in the Japanese one the helmet was hidden in the tail in this one it's hidden in his ass but oh well you got a uh, Zord Builder port up there for future combinations you got the place where the head is and this black thing which used to be the button in the Japanese version <laughs> I'm glad it's actually still painted to look like that and you got uh, clips here you got clips there you got your Tyrannosaurus Rex arms and you got a bunch of screw holes and clips on the back now this is a dyno mode so we talk articulation the head can go 360 because it is a shoulder joint the mouth can open that far and the hips can ratchet <laughs> ratchet one two three or if you uh, kind of dislodge it a bit you can go forwards one two so it can make him kind of look like he's sitting uh, the legs are on just Zord Builder ports but you see there's a uh, little track right here that runs along this peg which stops it right there and pretty much stops it right there so you kind of have to cheat the toy if you want to get him sitting. Same on the other side. But technically you can get him sitting down, essentially, whatever you want to call this position. He's turning into Minitira. Uh, get that out of the way. I love this guy. I've been messing with him a f for a bit now, and I love him. <laughs> He's awesome. Now, he does have a battle feature, which if you uh, brave in and stick it in his mouth, damn it, stick it in, lock it, close it, his little frill comes up and he's ready to fight. That's cool. I do like action features. I so wish it said Gaborincho Cabutira, but oh well. And uh, now we'll move him off to the side, come back down. Here we have Stegosaurus, or Stegochi. Uh, very simple. He kind of suffers from a bit of ass hand syndrome bit of potus manis he's a very basic kinda blocky but still cute stegosaurus whoops that wasn't supposed to happen yet yeah it, it comes off articulation wise his front leg can go that far and his back leg can go that far but mostly for transformation you put them there the yellow line lot of molding not a lot of paint nice silver on the face and the red on the eye underside is a button which I will demonstrate in a second and on top is just some stuff now he he has a battle feature too if you open his mouth and don't rip off his back. I will take the charger from Gabutira and plug it in. And it raises up his spike, which becomes the sword in Megazord mode. And 
Now here's where I wish they had included the other two batteries or chargers just so he could uh, hold his own charger but hey you have to buy the packs to get the charger. The one thing that I noticed and that I noticed in somebody else's review is that the charger does not go in completely therefore you cannot close the mouth from from what I've seen the Japanese toy it can go all the way in and the dinosaur can close his mouth which is kind of an unfortunate they could have hollowed out a little hole a little extra to allow that to happen I guess but nevertheless if you don't have a charger ready and you want to activate this is this this slider you push it and it pushes it up essentially it's just moving a piece right there which is cool but that's the uh, basic uh, stegochi here is Dorikera, the pink triceratops. I would really like a purple repaint of this, just to be hilarious. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Bandai initially released pictures of the Dino Charge Megazord with the triceratops being purple instead of pink, and the fandom kind of uh, went shit crazy, bad shit crazy. But here is the Triceratops, and it's pink, and it's appropriate, and it's a remold, or the same mold as Stegosaurus, just with a new headpiece. And I wonder what... <laughs> I wonder what Billy would say if he was still around in Power Rangers and saw a, a Triceratops pink. Wow, that was hard to say. But here it is, exact same stuff. The only thing different is the back piece. It's now a drill because, hey, Tricera, drill, dirty care. Hey, it's puns. So, uh, push in the battery. Uh, I'm not going to put the battery in, but push the thing and it's an ass hand again hmm? didn't didn't fire there we go you got a spring drill there it's a spring loaded drill which is pretty cool doesn't spin but oh well and uh... I'd say that's it on your basic dino modes. Now, for comparison, I'm going to bring in all five of the main guys. Try and do this shot properly. If you haven't watched these guys' reviews, it might not be out yet. But if it is, go watch them. And here is I'm taking a long time to put this shot together. Here's the original team versus the new team. So you can see even though this is the four kids line and these are the legacy high-end collectors line the Tyrannosaurus is still a hell of a lot bigger for kids so there's that and give me a second I'm gonna take these swords away and we're gonna move on to a combination so give me a second I just realized I forgot the Mastodon in my comparison, so there you go. Again.
And so we will get down to transformation, and I'm going to start with the limbs. So what you want to do with uh, Stegochi, open his mouth up as wide as possible, fold this leg up, and fold the back leg up, so they form a straight yellow line. Other side, do the same thing. Whether you insert a beast battery or a dyno charger or not, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put that back there. And I'm going to remove this because this will become important in a little bit. Uh, Doricara, same thing. Don't remove that. Oh, the one thing, oh yeah, I forgot this briefly, is this piece was changed on the original, it flipped over, the yellow horn sat back where these things are, and then flipped over, at least I believe, something flipped over, but for the American one, they decided to remove that, so, yeah, just fold the legs back, and until it's basically a straight arm and there you go now we come all the way to T-Rex remove the tail he goes forward split the tail and peg it together pegs in right here put it off to the side and this is one of my favorite transformations I think I've seen in the Megazord. So, extend the feet back. So he's looking straight up. Fold the hands down. Fold the robot mode hips down. So he's standing straight up. Rotate them. Split them. And as you can see, he... Uh, Crapped out a helmet, which we use in a second. Flip up the robot mode head, put on the helmet, attach Stegochi here. Wow, this is just the review of how to adjust a camera, apparently. And attach. Doriqueda, there, and spin them around, take these two pegs here, attach them to, I'm not giving you the finger, I just point with my middle finger, these pegs, right here, plug it on, and you can now choose to have him wield the sword, or not yet. But there is your Dino Charge Megazord for 2014, 2015, sorry. Wow, 2014 was last year. I love this guy. He's awesome. Uh, coming to the face, it's kind of hard to see his eyes when they're hidden behind there, but he's nice. silver and red paint on the face. He looks happy, and I guess he should be. Give him his battle helmet. Uh, all the same paint apps are, were in T-Rex, only now they're in a biped robot. Now, the articulation is my favorite point. You've got your shoulders, of course. Get them out of the way. Now you've got a waist joint. If you remove that, you can go all the way around on a nice ratchet. Which is very nice. He does have crotch hands. But that's an unfortunate with just the design. You can stick my that for... He has hip joints! He has hip joints! You can go straight out that far for a dino sidekick. And they go forward 
a bit. This is just the awkwardness, but you can go all the way like that. If you want this right here, this hole is where the head sat, or the helmet. Uh, nothing at the thigh. Again, you have that motion if you want. And basically that's it. He kind of slumps over. When both hands are out, he can't really stand balanced with both his arms in midair. Uh, eh, oh well. Overall, I do really enjoy this guy for what he is a cheapened version of Chio Yujin. Now, give him his sword. Here's where the cheapening process sucks. In the Japanese one, this folded out into a shield. These pits right here. In the American version, they do not. It is just a sword. Kind of very dinky sword. But it just goes in his hand. And now you have a sword. Sword stay in there. Oh my god. He's falling to pieces. Cut, cut. No, I'm not cutting. And, uh, there you go. For size comparison, here is the Legacy Megazord. He's not much shorter than the Legacy Megazord. He is a head shorter, but... Oh well. This guy is more solidly built than this one. And... Just because I can... Here's a Go Say Shit Megazord. And he is a bit taller than Go Say Shit Megazord. Yeah, but you can kind of see they follow the same properties, like red for the body, the base, blue for one arm, the pink sword for the other arm, even though this one's pink and this one's white with a stripe of pink. But... Yeah, there's your size comparisons. Now, for Zord Builder compatibility, you have the, the shoulders here and the hips here. And you also have these here. Now, I'm not going to put any uh, Zord Builders in this video. What I am going to do is pu put a link in the description to uh, something I'm going to do slash already have done which is a slideshow video of Sword Builder, Builder yeah Sword Builder so if you're watching this you should go watch the slideshow and uh, that that's it. I I don't really have a good ending for this, but thank you for watching. This video is going to be long. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.